Hello, sixth grade visitors. Welcome to Mrs. Proctor's homepage. I want to show you how you can access the virtual tangrams and pattern blocks. In order to do that, you need to start by going to my homepage, which you can see up here, sproctor.scholarcharter.org. You can see how that's spelt. Perhaps your substitute teacher can write that on the board for you so you can go there easily. You can also access this from the student page and finding Mrs. Proctor's homepage. You can also watch the video right here. It will be linked as soon as it is finished being made, um, or your substitute teacher is playing it for you on the screen. Once you have made it to the website, you're going to click here so that you can access that file. Go ahead and click it. When you click on that link, it will take you to this. This is a PowerPoint document. However, this is an uneditable PowerPoint document. I made it so you cannot make any changes to it because if you do, then it makes changes in my own personal document. But the whole fun of this is for you to make the changes. So here are the steps that you need to take. Start by clicking on file. <clears throat> make sure you download a copy. This will download a copy to your own computer. When you download that top copy, you'll probably get a message something like this. And it's going to pop up here. You can also find it in your downloads folder. If it pops up here in your browser, you can just open it right up. It's taking a second to think about this. And there we go. Here is my own copy on my own computer of this document. Again, since we downloaded it from the computer, your computer, or since we downloaded it from the internet, your computer naturally wants to protect itself. And so it's in protected view. Go ahead and click enable editing. And what this does, <clears throat> it allows you to pick up and move these shapes as needed. So as you go through each page, there will be different things for you to explore, and you can do that by moving these shapes around. For example, I want you to compare the smallest triangle to the other shapes. How many triangles will fit in each of the other shapes? So I can do that by picking up those triangles and trying to fit them into those various shapes, trying to figure out how many of them will fit into each. You can also, and this is a good trick to know, you can also rotate these shapes, which is going to be something that you're going to need to do for this activity. So I can pick it up and move it to again, start trying to figure out how many will fit into each of the other shapes. The next challenge on this page is to make a perfect square using all pieces without any gaps or overlapping the shapes. After attempting that, you can move this square to reveal the answer, but don't do that until you've given it a try first. With tangrams, you can also build shapes. They're like little puzzle pieces that can form into different shapes. For example, we can make a camel. Go ahead and move each of these shapes over the top of these ones so that you can make that camel for yourself. Things get progressively more difficult where now I'm not showing you the outline of those individual shapes, but you can put these pieces on top of these shapes to try and make the sailboat. Again, you can move the rectangle for the answer. We have another challenge with the cat. And then we move on to the pattern blocks, where again, I'm asking you to explore. Now, on this page and the other ones using the pattern blocks, you are probably going to want to know another trick, and that is how to duplicate. Control and D will duplicate an image. So I'm going to select the hexagon. Notice there's only one hexagon here, but if I would like multiple hexagons, when it's selected on my keyboard, I'm hitting Control D. That duplicates or it copies and pastes and creates an extra image. So each time I would like to use a new shape, I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard and it will give me each of these shapes an extra copy that I can use. That's it for this video. Have fun exploring. I hope that this program works out for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.